<laughs> it looks grim already. Good morning, welcome back to uh, Network East Church Barrow. Um, it is morning, it's quite early. Something a little bit different today. I was thinking about what I could be doing and uh, I've seen a lot of YouTubers doing eating the same thing for 24 hours and stuff like this. So I thought, what can I do that's like that? And I found these expedition food. Now these are like rationed food. So I've got my breakfast, my lunch, my tea, and all I'm gonna have today is uh, these. I've got quite a busy day, so I'll take on my day with me. Um, but yeah, let's get into it and uh, watch me eat camping dehydrated rations for 24 hours. Um, starting with breakfast and granola with raspberries. Lovely. Okay, so these little things say, just take out whatever's inside and then just add water. Um, so this is granola with raspberry uh, with hot water. Interesting. Uh, so let's see. I've got to find the oxygen absorber, whatever that is. I'm assuming that is the oxygen uh, oxygen absorber. It says it. And uh, can you see in there? There you go. That's breakfast for today. Now I need to add 80 millilitres of water. So kettle's boiled. And, uh, that's about 80 millilitres. So I've got to pour that in there slowly and stir as I go, um, apparently. So there we go. Uh, that is then added in there. And uh, we've got to leave it for a few minutes and then we'll come and eat it back in a moment. So there we go, granola with raspberries. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't look the best of things. It looks a bit more like porridge. But anyway, uh, let's go. So much better than it looks. That actually is quite nice. Mm. So, yeah. I'm going to eat this and then uh, get on with the day. Well, there we go. That's that, down. that was actually better than I thought it was gonna be. Um, quite nice, well done. Um, anyway, I've got to finish getting ready, get the kids off to school, and then get on with my day. So I'll catch up with you after we've done a few errands, and it's time for lunch. Right, I've got back in um, from my morning's errands. I'm a bit hungry. The uh, thing didn't actually, uh, you know, fill me up this morning as much as I thought. Then I went to the gym, I've done some other bits and pieces, I haven't dropped the kids off. So I'm back home, but before I got out of the car, I said to Ellie, what should I eat? And she chose spaghetti bolognese. So, on to number two, lunch. If you call it lunch, maybe it's dinner, it depends what you call it. Um, lunch time for me, spaghetti bolognese. Uh, so I've got to boil the kettle as I did this morning and uh, get it ready. So uh, yeah, let's go. Right, the kettle's boiled, I've got spaghetti bolognese ready to go. Only one issue, it doesn't tell me how much water I need. This morning's was only 80 millimeters, but this evening's is saying 215. So, I'm gonna guess somewhere in the middle, I'm gonna have to stick about 200, I reckon. 200 milliliters of water in, um, that much will do. That's about 200 milliliters, I think. Yeah, so. 200 millilitres of water. Now, first things first, remove the oxygen absorber, whatever that is. Well, we know what it looks like now. It's that little thing. Um, this is what it looks like before we add the water. So we're gonna add this in, give it a stir. 
and then close it up and uh, give it a few minutes. I mean, it looks grim already. But to be fair, I said that about this morning. So we've got to leave that for five minutes um, and then we'll come and see how it is. So uh, check back in a couple of moments. Right, we've uh, waited a few minutes and uh, it now looks like that. Um, empty it out onto the plate and then uh, we'll go and eat it and uh, maybe give you a bit of a review. Um, I mean, at least it looks hot. That's a start. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's food, isn't it? Uh, this looks grim at best, but let's go on through and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. Right, let me just turn the camera around. There you go, so you've seen it. Now, uh, not a huge portion, but. I mean, it's not bad, it's not great. Uh, the raspberry thing this morning was better, but. It'll do. Right, just come in, um, ready to do tea, and uh, you all know what I've got. Tea or dinner, depending on what you call it. Uh, ready for the England match, and I'm gonna be having a chicken korma with rice, followed by rice pudding with cinnamon. So uh, looking forward to them. And what do we need to do to make these meals? That's right, you've guessed it. Get some water in the kettle, and uh, once we've got some water in the kettle, boil it because we all know these meals are nutritional and they are great and all you need is water. So uh, let's get this in there. That'll probably be enough. Uh, stick that on there. Clip this in over here and we'll get that boiling. And uh, once I've got them made, I will come back and show you what they look like and uh, you can join me in that delightful eating process. Um, so uh, yeah, let's go, let's get ready and uh, come on England. Right, so we've got finally chicken korma with rice. Uh, there you go. That looks really, really soupy. Um, and then we've got rice, pudding e thing but that's kind of really liquidy i think i added in too much water um so i'm gonna crack on with these and uh yeah tell you why i've done all this in a moment okay the chicken tikka the chicken tikka chicken korma meh it's like all of the food today, it's okay. It's not the best, not the worst. There you go. Now, this is the only time today I get to have pudding. So, uh, I quite like rice pudding. Um, 
but like I said, I think I added too much water. So it's quite, yeah. <sighs> who knows, anyway. It's all right. I mean, I'm going to eat it, so uh, let's crack on. Right, there we go. Uh, so I've spent all today and the only thing I've eaten is this dehydrated camping food. Um, it's been all right. None of them have been horrid, but none of them have been the best. And uh, yeah, that's been the way it is. But I think sometimes we go through life like that, don't we? We go through life doing what's normal, what's natural, what's here, rather than doing the best. And Jesus invites us to live in the best life possible. Having God and Jesus as part of your life is an invitation to live what's called an abundant life, the best life possible. It's not eating dehydrated rice pudding, but it's eating the best rice pudding there is. It's not eating dehydrated and then rehydrated with hot water, kormas or granola or anything like that, but actually it's living the best possible life. So there you go, um, have a think about that. Think about inviting Jesus into your life and not stop living a mediocre, a second rate life, but living the best life you can. So I'll leave you with that. Thank you as always for being here. Uh, like, subscribe, do all of that stuff. I'm off now to uh, watch the game and uh, hopefully see whether it's coming home or not. And like all of you, I'm hoping it is coming home. So uh, see you soon.